Hello and welcome to this Affinity Photo tutorial and this will be the first of two tutorials that I'm going to do where I'm going to be looking at and mainly using the half tone filter just to see what you can do with it various different, different options in this one we're going to be looking at a sort of an etched sort of style or a sort of style that you might get on a banknote for example um, this bottom left here I've got the sort of lines going across the, and this one here I have a mixture of lines going across and a circular um, etch effect on this one here it's a bit subtler and you can't see it so much but if I zoom in so this top one here is just the lines going diagonal and this one is the mixture of the lines going diagonal and the circular one but like I said that is a bit more subtler it depends on how much of an effect you want to have on your particular image let me put this back in the center I have also also tried this on a landscape where you had this sort of effect here again again I've used both the diagonal lines and the circular effect so it's you can use it on whatever image that you want to now I've not practiced on this particular image but I'm going to try on this one so the first thing I'm going to do is I don't know whether you have to do it in color but from what I've seen it works best if it's in black and white so I'm just going to turn this into a black and white image and I'm going to come down to this half black and white circle here click on that and select black and white um, if you want to make alterations you can do I mean I might just darken that sort of very bright skin that's there because it, obviously this effect shows up better on a dark areas than it does on the lighter areas so I've toned that down slightly so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to merge that into the image so that is now all on one layer now the half tone filter you can get it from filters colors and half tone and you can also get it from the layers new life filter and somewhere down here half tone filter there is near the bottom now this option is probably the better one because as it's a live filter you can come back to it and tinker around with it whereas if you use it via the filters menu once you've done it that's it it can't be altered so I would go with the live filter version if I was you and you could also directly add it to this image which again you could do but I personally think I find it better to add another pixel layer and flood fill this with 50% grey so we come to the flood fill tool and we want 50% grey so let's come here and if I remember correctly I think 58 um, 128 you know, RG and B is 50% grey 129 that's close enough so it's 81 80 181 if you want to do it in hex but that's near enough 50% grey so I will close that and then flood fill that with 50% grey and it is to this layer that we're going to add the effect so I'm going to come up to layer new live filter down to half tone filter now from the option here you've got the drop down menu we can have it in dots and you can change the shell size you can change contrast and even the um, blend mode of this now one thing I should have done first was to change the blend mode let me shut that down a second and highlight this layer and change that to average which is somewhere down here yeah, average 
I don't know, I'll come back and this is the beauty of using the live filters I can come back and make alterations so coming back to this panel here like I said you can it starts off by default with dots but you can have lines circular or color I'm going to go with lines and I'm going to change the angle to 315 you can have it in whatever angle you, you want um, and then it's just a case of changing this the cell size to how close these lines are together um, I do find this is one of those filters where it looks where you looks okay here on the screen but as soon as you sort of close it down and it does the effect it does alter slightly from the preview the preview is pretty good but it's not always how it ends up so just need to bear that in mind so I'm going to push the contrast up to a hundred and I'm going to I'm going to type this in I'm going to lower this down to let's try 10 to start with and then just close that down and highlight that particular layer now I'm going to lower the opacity of this down to around the 50% mark. So you had those lines coming across and they're quite visible in the light areas. You could, if you want, also then add an adjustment of, say, the levels adjustment and just alter this to suit the t your taste for your particular image so I'm going to put mine about there on this particular image so if you're happy with that result you could save and export this under a new name but if you want to sort of add the other circular effect as well what I'm going to do now is add another pixel layer and again, again flood fill it with the 50% grey which it is still set on so flood fill that and then come to the layer new light filter half tone filter and this time I'm going to go for circular and again I have forgotten to change the blend mode which I do keep doing and this time I'm going to go for overlay now the blend modes that you go for in this le layer level or this level doesn't really matter you can just swap and change them around I prefer to have average here and overtone up there overlay I should say but you can mix and match and try other ones because some of the others do work just as well and the effect is slightly different so don't just stick with what I suggest have a tinker around and try them so I've come back and highlighted this half tone um, adjustment and circular like I said and I'm going to reduce that shell cell size quite low and again I'm going to put the contrast maybe not so high let's try it let's, let's try it oh, that's it come down probably best to come down with this effect so it sort of blends in with the diagonal lines let's try on about 26 25 something like that you can even lower the opacity of that just so that effect is sort of in the background there and I'm quite happy with that. I've got a cell size of 19, contrast 25, and the opacity is on 57. So I'll close that. Highlight the actual main layer. Now this does sort of introduce a little bit of colour into this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just add the black and white adjustment again. Just to lose some of that colour that may have come into the image in fact if I zoom in 
it might just be my eyes but it does look like there's color in there but it's I think it might be just an optical illusion and again you could add a levels adjustment just to try and bring back some of that contrast in the image to suit your personal taste let's turn down no. let's go this way there we go so that's what gives you that etch effect you don't necessarily have to stick with lines and circles you could go with dots um, so that really is the end of the tutorial all you need to do now is save your image under a new name and thank you for watching and goodbye